In the last video, we looked at including a Vue.js application in our WordPress plugin. In this video, we're going to look at sending a post request from our Vue.js application to our WordPress plugin, handling that post request and sending a response. Really easy to do. So if we have a quick look at our Vue.js application, let's just close that down. So I've just got a really simple form here. So it just has one input, well, two inputs, one's a submit button and one is just a text input. And we're gonna do this form submission using Axios. So I've installed Axios. So you just literally run npm install Axios. Axios or Axios, Axios, whatever. So we're gonna import that and we need to import ref so that we can access this constant first name, which we're gonna use from here. It's binded to this input and we're gonna run this function when the form is submitted. So let's have a look at a couple of key things here. So because we're submitting to WordPress, we need to submit to the Ajax post.php file. Now I'll get to that in a minute, but we're going to pass that URL from our WordPress plugin. So that's what this is here. No, nope, that's a lie. That's what this is here. So this is going to be from our WordPress plugin. So don't worry about that for now, but that is the URL we're going to be posting from. So I set the defaults for Axios to be with credentials. And then this is just the function here that sends the post request. There's a couple of really important bits. So this action here, this is the name that's going to correspond to our WordPress plugin function. This will make sense in a second, but this needs to match up with what we're going to put in our WordPress plugin. First name, that's the input that we're going to be submitting. And then this is the other important bit, the headers. So the content type needs to be multi-part form data. I'm going to put all this code on my website. The link will be in the description. So you can just go on there and copy it and paste it into your projects. So that's actually really nice of me. Say thank you by liking this video and leave a comment and send me some money. And then we're going to console log the response. That's what this is here. Okay. So we'll come back and have a look how this corresponds to the WordPress plugin in a second. But for now, let's just go to our WordPress plugin and see what we need to do. We've already enqueued the script that was in the last video. So we know our, our Vue.js project is up and running in our WordPress website because of this plugin. So now we're just going to have a look at what we need to do next. So what we need to do next is we need to alter this enqueue scripts function a little bit. We need to localize the Ajax post URL. So we do that by using this WP localized script function, which is like a WordPress function. So let's have a quick look at it. So what it does is it allows us to access certain bits of information from within the scripts that we tell it that we want to access. And in this case, it's this Vue.js script up here. So it basically uses this handle here. So you make sure those handles match up and then we can define our object. So that's what this is here. So you can call that anything you want, but that's just how you're going to reference it in your Vue.js application. So we called it front end Ajax object. And then we've set this Ajax URL property on that object. So that refers to this admin URL. So that's really important. So let's have a quick look back at our Vue.js application and we'll see the reference to it here that const URL equals front end Ajax object. And the property we refer to is the Ajax URL. So hopefully that makes sense. And that's the URL we're going to post to. So let's go back to our WordPress plugin. And now we need to write the logic for handling the post request. There's a couple of key bits here. I'm just going to paste in the function that I'm going to use. So let's have a look at this. So the key bits here are this, these hooks here. I think they're hooks. So you see, we've got form submission that does by coincidence equal the name of this function here, but it doesn't have to. But this form submission here is what we're referring to here in the action. So whatever you call this action, you need to put on the end of WP underscore Ajax underscore no proof underscore and WP underscore Ajax underscore. So that's what that corresponds to there. And then we've got here the name of the function here that we're going to use to handle the submission. The next important bit is this header here. So this sets the response header. 
so that we can send the response back and handle it in our JavaScript application, which is our Vue.js application. So this is gonna make sense in a second. We've got our first name that is being posted and we're gonna just assign that to this variable first name, echo it out and WP underscore die just ends the operation. So let's have a look, let's submit something and then see if it gets console logged out here. So go to our application, let's have a look in the console. A couple of errors, that's always good, what you like to see. Uh, so my name is Jeff. Submit form, error, front end to ADAX object not defined. Let's just refresh that. And if it doesn't work, I'll just quickly check what I've done. There we go. And just to prove the point of this content type, if we submitted a, or if we return an array, for example, my laptop's about to die, that's why it's going so slowly. So if we just say, so if we, if we return that instead, might need to do JSON encode, I'm not sure. Probably do actually. Oh, it's so slow. I haven't got my charger. Okay, so I had a change of heart because that was a really bad way to end the video. This is what happens if you don't do JSON encode. It will just say array. It will just say array, array. And this is what happens if you do, it works. JSON encode. Save that, refresh that. And this is what happens if you do use JSON encode, submit form, it works properly. You get JSON down there so you can do stuff with that. Okay, the end.